There's an old data science legend about the weird correlation between sales of beer and diapers. As the story goes, a supermarket some time ago noticed that, weirdly, that sales of beer and sales of diapers go hand in hand. So they decided to investigate. What they found out is that a husband returning back home receives a phone call from his wife saying, are you going to be passing by the supermarket? He would respond, yeah. So he said, we ran out of diapers, can you buy some? And the husband goes like, all right. So he pops in to that supermarket and grabs diapers and then thinks, well, while I'm here, I can grab some beer, can I? So he grabs some lager and at home. But there are weird correlations between some events or sales or products that are that have the similar trends but they're not related. But weirdly their trends just overlap. And this is the video about just that. The Miriam Webster Thesaurus defines the term pareidolia as follows the tendency to find a specific, often significant image in a random or indefinite visual pattern. Although it is considered a type of optical illusion, often associated with severe mental disorders, the tendency to give meaning to something that should not have one is common to many people. In this video, we'll talk about completely inexplicable correlations between events or observations, which in theory should not correlate in any way, or in other words, should not have any kind of relationship at all. I admit that the truth might be somewhere out there, and I invite fans of the butterfly effect theory to dispute what will be discussed in the comments. So, data science is a tricky thing, Sometimes data scientists are faced with such inexplicable manifestations. Although, again, in the past people did not immediately understand that phases of the moon, for example, affect the earth tides. But back then they didn't have software to generate plots. And by looking at these plots, they could start to doubt whether everything around us is connected, even indirectly. You will be presented with several plots of data. The correlation between these pairs of events or observations has not yet been proven logically. So let's get started with them, but do keep in mind what the number one data science rule tells us. Correlation does not imply causation. That is, we are unable to legitimately deduce a cause and effect relationship between two events or variables solely on the basis of an observed association or correlation between them. In the first plot, the number of murders is marked in red, no matter their nature. And blue is the ice cream sales. And as we can see during May, June and July, they grow literally parallel to each other. And even though in the heat you would crave something ice cold, such as juicy popsicle, for example, I really doubt that this will be enough to make you to cross the line. Although, if it is a pistachio gelato, well, Plot number two displays the relationship between global temperature rise and the decline of pirates. Someone should show this data to Greta Thunberg. She should know that global warming is causing rare marine species to disappear. Plot number three indicates that the length of your Johnson directly depends on the GDP of the country of your residence. So men from more developed countries usually compensate for this by buying luxury cars, Instagram followers and expensive clothes. However, guys from countries that have not recovered from economic crises don't need to worry because according to this plot, when GDP decreases, the real treasure Increases. But plot number four tells us that organic food sales correlate with the rise of autism. It's really not worth joking about such a serious disease, but I think you should always check the ingredients of purchased products because chemically unstable preservatives can reduce the cost in the short term and in the long term negatively affect the functioning of your organs and even affect the reproductive system. 
Night Shyamalan makes bad movies because people stopped buying newspapers. But here the connection is obvious. For sure, the director bought the shares in media companies for royalties from the sixth sense and now he's taking revenge on us for reducing the consumption of this tree chopping media garbage and switching to consuming media garbage on Twitter and Telegram. Using Internet Explorer leads to murders. This plot shows the market share of Internet Explorer, which is decreasing every year, as well as falling number of murders in the United States. Apparently, when people began to massively switch to Chrome with Mozilla, they've calmed down a little bit. The next plot shows that obesity caused the credit bubble, although there is no doubt that there is no direct relationship between these two phenomena. Any processes taking place in a society are somehow interconnected and financial indicators are reflected in the mental and physical health of citizens. In this case, the credit bubble is nothing more than printing money that is not backed by anything, merely to keep the price of assets bought by the generation of baby boomers at all-time high levels, and to support excessive consumption, which can be directly related to the excessive consumption of synthetic food and sugar, of course. The annual number of cases of drowning in the pool suspiciously resembles the number of films starring Nicolas Cage. Pay attention to the year 2007. I hope that these events are really not connected because lately Nicolas has begun to play in such a low-grade amateur films that soon there will be a new one released each month. The divorce rate in Maine is falling, as is the consumption of margarine. Again, there is no logical explanation for such a correlation, so we are free to interpret this how we like. And let's assume it's possible that since margarine consumption affects your body, then with a decrease in its consumption, maybe partners started to become sexier and more appealing to each other. Or perhaps those who wanted to divorce have already divorced and maybe there were fewer new marriages. Or people simply became pickier both in partners and in food. The age of Miss America is correlated with a number of murders by steam, hot fumes and hot objects. I can sense endless possibilities for jokes generations, so please put in the comments what you came up with. Mozzarella consumption is correlated with a number of civil engineering doctorates awarded to civil engineers. Well, here everything is pretty simple and logical. A wheel of cheese was given with the diploma. Electronic engineers, for example, get a bucket of shrimps and two cogs of lager. And software engineers get scoliosis and myopia. And, well, mathematicians are given uranium, which they, out of the kindness of their hearts, give to a local power plant. Well, it was an attempt to explain the inexplicable. If you know of any other egregious coincidences, put them in the comments under the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you would like more stories from the world of IT and tech. That was V, until next time.